Hey, what's up guys, Nick from Soho Motorsports, and here it is, the new Z. It finally arrived after many months of waiting and asking and trying to find where we could find one, we got one. White performance model, and of course it's manual. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put on the dyno and do a baseline. Uh, all the guys took a guess as to what kind of power it'll put down on the baseline, so we'll pan over there and see what they got, put it on the dyno, and then see who got the closest. After that, We'll do some modifications, put it back on the dyno, and then see how much power we increase with it. So let's see what we got. Here are the numbers. Tim guessed 340, I guessed 374, Robert guessed 358, UU, also known as Unir, guessed 371, Matt 372, Jar 387, Justin 365, Lasaya 360, Dylan 383, and George with a 390 out of nowhere. So let's see. Definitely underrated from the factory. This is going to be to the wheels. So it did 389 and 382 at 15.1 PSI. So let's pan out and look at this graph. For stock, that's a good looking graph. Let's take it off the dyno now and work some of our magic and see what we can do. stock exhaust that comes on the Z. As you can see, unmolested, how small that piping is. And just look at the coloration of the piping. Desperate need of something. So, you can see we're measuring it. What you got? Just under two inches. Just under two inches. So that's all the way, goes into the Y, goes back out. Put in the Soho Y pipe. So this is our Soho 3-inch full exhaust. Um, we actually built this in-house uh, high up as possible so that if you ever lower the car, uh, you get the best clearances from the ground. Um, we went with a longer muffler uh, just to give us the better look from the back. Um, we did add a V-band onto the midsection to make it easier for install on this exhaust. And we also added a resonator, which you can have it made without one. Um, the three inch exhaust can also be made in full titanium, um, depending on which is your preference. It is commonly debated whether duals or singles flow better. Uh, typically duals do flow a little bit better on a V-style engine, but uh, although the factory exhaust is predominantly a dual, it's only a one and five eighths inch inner diameter piping, um, which causes restriction. And this three inch single being so direct flow does absolutely increase flow pretty exponentially. Um, being a Y into a single all the way out the back, it also tones down the rasps. It's very common with V6 engines in general. Um, this exhaust is, especially with the bottle style resonator, is very toned sounding. It, it's, and it's a very sleek design. Uh, we're working on a cap for this part of the bumper right here. I know it's very common people, even people that like singles, like the bumper with the dual exit bumper to be kind of capped off and look finished. Um, so we are in progress and working in that as well uh, to make sure everything looks complete on this setup.
And so we did the 389 and 382 with the stock exhaust. With the Soho single, do keep in mind we are still keeping the stock cats. All we've changed is just the cat back portion with our Soho Y and our single. So look, did 403 and then 391. So you can see power band picks up right after 4200 RPM. It's gonna lose a little bit because you gotta remember the wastegate actuators are set for what the stock exhaust has on it. And since we are going to a larger diameter, it's going to affect the way that boost comes in and how much boost it does make. So it looks like we did peak a little bit as far as how much boost we did make to 16.3, which is about a pound or so over, which you're gonna see when you go bigger exhaust. So still great numbers. Um, picked up a good amount of power in the mid range, a little bit on top. So all in all, I think it's a success. We'll do lowers on it and then we'll tune it in one of the next episodes. So stay tuned.